Hey everyone, Paperman Adventure Delivered is a 3D platformer released in September of last year, developed by Secret Item Games and published by Mindscape. And earlier this month I received a promotional code from the developers to play the game and make a video about it. Do I regret it? Mostly, and we'll talk about the issues I have with it, but first I want to talk about the story and what I like about this thing. So, saying I like any aspect of this game might be a little bit of an overstatement, but there are at least parts of this game that I was neutral about during my time with it. A lot of the story falls into this category, but I can recognize that it could be charming for someone else. Just didn't really hold my interest is all. And it's not hard to see why, as the story is as bare bones as you can get while still having a story. Basically, the post office you work for has finally delivered 1 million letters, and to celebrate, they are sending out golden letters to some of their regulars. Seeing this on the news, a magical dragon gets jealous and decides to steal the letters. Now it is up to you, playing as four different male-themed characters with slightly different abilities, to get them back and fight the dragon over three worlds. And that's really all there is to it. See what I mean about it being bare bones? Not that that's bad, just that it can't even really be bad because there's nothing there to criticize. Maybe I'm being too hard, there's a ton of games with no story that just focus on gameplay, and this is for sure aiming for a younger audience or families in my eyes, but they still could have done more. I mean, at least give us a couple more cutscenes or something. Overall, the story is there, not good or bad, just present, which I think is kind of worse than no story at all, especially when the gameplay doesn't really make up for it at all. But before we talk about that, I'm going to quickly talk about the art of the game. And credit where credit is due, I do like how this game looks when it comes to the characters and some parts of the levels. It's giving off a very mid-budget PS2 vibe, which I am personally very nostalgic for, and think has a timeless quality. The enemies also have interesting designs and differ from world to world. The worlds are also reasonably varied and pleasing enough to look at, but by far nothing to write home about, mostly because the puzzles within the world are seemingly just dropped in ways that look very out of place. Sadly, you can't see much of this at any given moment because the draw distance is extremely low in the game so you're only ever able to see your character in its immediate surroundings. You might be thinking that I should just turn up the settings or push all the regular sliders to max within those settings, but unfortunately there are no options for this. In fact, there are no performance related settings options besides changing the resolution or turning VSync on or off. So no luck there, which is a little strange for a PC game and will cause some problems later. But before I talk about those problems, I want to quickly touch on the sound and music in this game. The music fares mostly okay in my eyes. I'm no expert, but it wasn't bad by any means and usually fit the level that you were in. There definitely weren't a lot of tracks either though, and they are not very long or really memorable in any way. I mostly just listened to them once and then put on a podcast instead and turned the rest down. However, when it comes to the sound effects and all the other sounds in the game, I had to turn that off immediately. There's a sound effect for everything that you do and all the NPCs that you talk to speak in this gibberish language that gets old really fast. All in all, it's not bad on its own, it's just not really amazing, kind of a little too much going on. Now before we end this review, it's time to talk about my biggest problem with Paper Man Adventure Delivered, the gameplay and overall design. The gameplay of Paper Man can be fun and engaging, if a little simple, when it's working right. Unfortunately though, that isn't always the case. And honestly, this is a blessing and a curse as you will occasionally be able to use the jank of the game to your advantage. As you play the game, you'll notice some issues right away and it only gets worse as the game progresses and tries to get more complex in the process. All of the levels look relatively good and unique in their own way, but when you are in the level, there's no way to tell where you are. The draw distance is too low, like I said before, and the paths are just winding enough that you get turned around very quickly. This isn't too bad in the beginning, but the longer you play, the worse it gets, and it also just makes it very difficult to collect all the Paper Man's many different collectibles throughout the game. Once you finally find one of the many puzzles in the game, you might notice that you need to play as a different character since each has their own special move. One can double jump, one can run fast, one can glide and ride air currents, and one can move boxes. Not a huge difference between the four, but whatever. Just switch on the fly and you're golden. Except instead of being able to do that, you must run to a mailbox to change out your character, so you'll be running back and forth often if you want to play this by yourself. To make things worse, you'll have to wait a few seconds and watch a short cutscene between each character switch, which only prolongs this back and forth. It's possible, but annoying, and I kind of wish they'd just let you switch characters whenever you want, or play as one character that can do all the abilities when you're in single player. It would have made the experience so much more bearable. One thing that would also make this game much more bearable would be consistent controls. There were multiple times when I would try to do something and it would just stop working for me when I needed it the most. Need to move a box for a puzzle? Sorry, for some reason Carl can't move boxes anymore. Need to attack an enemy to defeat a boss? Sorry, the attack button is no longer working, it might as well not be there. Sometimes I would be in a boss stage and my character would be locked up and unable to move for seemingly no reason. When that happens once, it's annoying, but not the end of the world. But when it happens more often than not, I have to start to wonder how this was missed during development. 
Luckily, I said the jank could be a blessing. I mostly mean you can use it to your advantage when something wouldn't work. Can't solve a puzzle to get to the next level? Thankfully, you can just jump over the barrier and skip the puzzle entirely like half the time. When you think about it, it was these broken puzzles that let me make it to the end. So should you play Paper Man? I can't really recommend it unless you're playing with friends or someone gives it to you. Either way, it will be a frustrating, seldom rewarding experience that has a few too many bugs for my taste and lets you break at least a third of the puzzles. At least that part can be a little fun though. I would give another game from this dev a shot because there were some interesting ideas, but I'm fine with uninstalling this from my library. Hopefully this review was helpful, and if you still want to give it a shot, Paper Man is currently $20 on Steam. You know, it's not super expensive. If you have played it, let me know what you thought down in the comments. I'd love to hear from everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.